Hello there. My name is Jay Bondi Wanna Jamish, which is on WBCA 102.9 FM Boston's local community radio station. My guest today is Rob Richard, American actor and film film actor. Hi Rob, good good to show the show today. What's going on, world? How are you guys doing? I'm Robert Richard, and I'm on this show, and it is outstanding to be here today. How's everybody's 2022? Oh, it was going wonderful. I came out from Florida. I walked this world, had a good time. Everybody's in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to watch the move down, move down there, you know, because so, it's so warm. Right. Yeah. So, okay. So, um, so, 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 I guess my question is, what's that? Is how did you get started in acting? I mean, because you've been on one, because you, you, you were on one on one, you were on Touch, Touch, Touch by an Angel, you've been a lot of, actually, been so many movies, you know. So, how did you get started? Yeah, so I grew up in Los Angeles, and, uh, you know, I actually was, you know, really pursuing a life being a, a scientist. Huh? Um, and I played a lot of sports, but, you know, in Southern California, Los Angeles, growing up in the 90s, like gang life was just very, very, very prevalent. And I was definitely a part of, um, a lot of that nonsense uh, growing up and uh, I was uh, you know walking home from school and there's a rival gang that was there and I was outnumbered and wanting to just you know avoiding having to you know go up against uh, three different individuals so I kind of like dipped into a random building and that random building just happened to be an acting school so um, you know I never forget where I came from it's important to have that foundation but to know that, um, you know, this sort of like productive after school program sort of changed the trajectory of my life from ended up being, you know, a statistic, to be honest. Uh, I'm very, very blessed by God to um, have had that tangent in my life to then start my career. Oh, that's a, I know that's such a blessing to be able to, be able to become as an amazing actor like you are, because I've been following your career since I saw you. And I was like, wow, this kid is going to go far. You're like, you know, it's like, and now, now that you talk to him, I'm sure it's just a blessing. So, yeah. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Thank you. So what advice can you give actors like, actors like myself that want to be, that want to be an actor or want to do what you do? What advice can you give us? I think one of the biggest advices that I get for actors is like start off in theater. Um, I know theater is a little bit of a grind, but it really like sets you up to be able to just like, you would be confident in every other aspect. I mean, kids these days have everything at their access. They got cameras, they got lights, they have access to broadcast. They got YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all this sort of limitless way. But then you have to really work on your craft too, because just because getting the attention, which is great, you can definitely build, you know, a career and a business being an influencer or yeah. a broadcaster. Um, but the acting is definitely a craft that provides a little bit more discipline. Mm -hmm. uh, it requires that. And, you know, you got to put in the work and learn, learn the art of script development, scene study, character development, breakdown, cold reading, improvisation, accessing emotions, a lot of work in acting. So I'd say the best playground for that is being on stage for theater. Uh, yeah, I uh, yeah, I def I definitely agree. Did did you attend college too? Yeah, I did. I went to the university. I went back east first. I went to Johns Hopkins University. Oh. Um, I studied engineering there because uh, I really wanted to be a mission specialist for NASA. Um, I tested in the school early, um, and then I had I was at JHU while flying back to do one on one mm -hmm. um the television show yeah. um, and it's funny because the show one on one takes place in baltimore so oh. shout out to be more in the dmv mm -hmm. um but then um you know you know it's sort of like i sort of hit the fork in the road and kind of chose acting as a career path and a craft and i really really love what i do and a lot of things that i've learned in engineering i sort of applied as like my philosophy and my systematic mm -hmm. approach to to acting so Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So what projects are you working on right now? So right now, uh, everyone can catch me on Harlem. It's okay. on uh, Amazon Prime. It's the number two show. Awesome. Just found out about five minutes ago that we got nominated for NAACP Award. Wow. So it is the show to watch. And everyone says it's a binge worthy show. So you're going to watch all 10 episodes if you hit that button. Um, so go on Amazon Prime uh, and shout out to Amazon Studios and all of our writers and our cast and our crew for this amazing, amazing production. But yes, Harlem on Prime. Um, and then uh, I have another show called The Fight That Never Ends. Uh, it's an amazing uh, narrative about two people falling in love. I happen to play a gangster. His name is Jay Hoover. Uh, from Hoover Crip, but he falls in love with a young lady from Milwaukee, mm -hmm. and uh, they sort of reevaluate and their value, their, what's important to them, and start a uh, helpline for the inner city. 
Um, it's a great, great, great movie. Um, Alan Payne's in the movie. Uh, Krista Allen plays the lead along with myself. Uh, Dre and Michelle, Columbus Short, uh, and a bunch of other great, great actors in the movie. It's outstanding. Okay, I'll definitely show Chuck the movie out. You know, this seems like a, it's going to be a hot, hot one. Hot. Does it yes. come I can't, is it, we'll, be up, we'll, we'll be out soon. I can't, I can't wait to see, you know, summertime. Yeah, so The Five That Ever Ends is available now, actually, on Lifetime. And then I think it's also coming to streaming. But the best place to look for is on Lifetime TV. It's a great, great, great network. And um, that's, where, that's where they have our movie. All right. Now, I, I, are you all still doing, doing any, any more rapping or singing as well? Yeah, everyone's trying to get me in the studio. You know what I'm saying? They've been sending me beats. You know, I got a great, great producer named John G out of Florida. Shout out to Florida, Miami. Um, trying to get me in the booth and start rapping and stuff. I mean, I love, love, love that that can catapult other parts of your business. Um, but I really, really do love being on 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 screen. On screen, I think that's like probably my home. So uh, I'll probably stay in that lane. Oh yeah, I definitely, I definitely feel you know. I hear you. Oh wow! So how did COVID affect you? Everything being shut down. How did the pandemic affect you? Uh, yeah, the pandemic. I mean, one, I kind of always kind of like took a higher altitude when it comes to, to the pandemic, and I kind of really wanted to be an example for everybody for you know how to sort of just like stay positive, mm -hmm. um, you know, listen to your medical professionals that are trusted, and you know, um, just kind of keep your attitude and your um your morale high during this whole thing. We went into it uh, not knowing how long it was going to be. Um, it's been an exceptional amount of time. I mean, quarantines usually, you know, they're real. They're 40 day quarantines, but we've seen a series of them and people have lost loved ones, um, try to keep their health at a high priority. And the social distancing has had a huge, huge impact on people's, you know, social skills, their emotional connection, their spirituality with other people. So, um, you know, one way, obviously, is people are at home watching television, they get entertained by the shows that I've bought. But two, letting everybody know, like, hey, you know, get get tested. It's important that you get tested. Um, and, you know, uh, you know, let's all sort of work together to sort of beat this thing. So that's for the greater health of humanity and global good. I definitely agree. I can't say a bit of myself, but I definitely feel you. Um, so, what do you see so far? So, what do you see so far so, so, uh, 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 down the future? Do, doing in the future? Yes. Well, uh, I really, really love acting. It's great. Uh, I love people know that I love business too, and I love sales. But I think acting sort of actually always going to be my home. Um, I, you know, people know my face, and it feels great to have people come to me in every walk of life, whether it be in the museum or at the airport or wherever and just say like, I love your work and can you hop on the phone with one of my family members and talk to them? Um, I'm a people person, I love that. But I think eventually I'll probably have to get in politics um, just because, you know, we, we got a platform, you gotta look out for everybody. And I think that's important for me to be of service to the greater community. I definitely agree. So what do you like to, like to do for fun in, in your spare time? In, you know, church travel lines. Oh yeah, fun. Oh, I'm super competitive right now. It's 2022. Yeah. I'm in acting class like every night. And we oh, do wow. scene study and break down scripts and character development and how to ask questions about, uh, you know, how the plot and theme. It's awesome. And we go pretty late. Like classes start, you know, right about nightfall. And last night, I think we went till two, three o'clock in the morning. So it's been really going really good. So I like doing that. And then everyone knows I love my sports. I snowboard in the wintertime. I uh, wakeboard in the summertime and I play baseball basketball and football and every uh sign up league that i can get into oh well, that's amazing you know <laughs> you know um so what, so what do you think you'd be doing what do you think you might be doing if you want to answer what, what do you think you might be doing if you want to if you're in show business uh if i wasn't in show business i'd be an engineer for sure i love my stem stuff science technology engineering mathematics um, you know, graphic design's big right now. Coding's big right now. There's a lot of sort of like the real scientific careers that are really been boosted in high demand right now. But I love engineering. I love problem solving. And I love, you know, sort of like balancing like the, the theory of what could work with the practicality of what does work. Um, so that's probably be my, my profession. I definitely hear you. I feel you. Um, and what do, you think people, what do you think people can do to change the world to make the world better in, in your opinion? You've all the stage you know, what, what can people Yeah, do? so I think one thing to make the world better is, you know, don't believe the hype and don't believe the bad stuff that you see on television. We're all in this together. And, you know, holding the door open for somebody or just saying thank you or you're welcome or good morning is really all it takes for this to be, 
mm-hmm. somewhat of a utopian society on earth yeah. you know and just waving at your neighbor and looking out for everybody is a great way to start just to sort of like bring us all together and just know that we're all in this whole sort of like time continuum all together it's great I definitely, I definitely agree. I couldn't say it better, better myself. Wow. So, would you consider maybe, maybe you might want to run for president of the United States someday? You know, maybe be the next president. President of the United States. Oh man, it sounds like you're putting my bid in before I am. That's great. Yeah. Um, you know, I just think that having clarity about who I am and wanting the best for people is something that's going to always call for me. Um, and if I can do that in any way, whether it's on a community level, on a national level, on a global level, I'm always interested in being of service to others. Um, you know, and I'm a big, big advocate of education. I think that literacy is one of the most important things to any country development. And so, you know, our young people these days, like they spent two years not in school mm-hmm. because of this pandemic. Like we have to, you know, come up for that deficit and then you know really kind of just say like hey the, the the world that's ahead of us is in 2050 it's 30 years out and it's prepare our nation for that and the red white and blue I, I love america you know there's no greater country in the world than america and i think everyone around the world knows that that's why they all move here it's a world land of opportunity um and hard work pays dividends in america and that's great yeah i definitely agree now, now, as an anthem, right, how do you deal with you know? How do you deal you know you know with, with racism? Because that, that's always because t- because I know it's like to be you know be a stereotype you know because I was a boy as a kid with racism. So how, how does it affect you as an anthem? You know because it's a little sad you know. Yeah, I mean you know racism I believe is definitely real for everybody. We all experience racism it's being judged by the color of our skin instead of the content of our character. But I think it's important to not have a lens to be like over invested in racism you should be looking more for the answer not so much for the problem so i was explaining to somebody i'm like hey if someone was cursing at you in a language you didn't know it wouldn't affect you so you try and keep that as the language you don't know is the negativity the language you don't know is the racism and that the language the language you don't know is the bigotry um and then it affects you less okay i guess that's good to hear so so when the question is what is like what is that like to be famous to, to be a star you know because you know, I see everywhere. I see on TV, movies, like, wow, this kid is doing it out. What is that to be to be to be to be to be Robert Richard? Basically, oh, being Robert Richard is a lot of time in the gym, a lot of time in the gym, and a lot of uh, buying a purchasing of cologne because you got to hug everybody. Yeah. You know, being famous is basically being everybody's cousin or uncle or family and them or brother or something like that. So, um, it's a lot of shaking hands and kissing babies, uh, which I love. Mm-hmm. Um, but just a lot of just connecting with people and listening to them and just sharing that, that, you know, some of the highlights of their life or their, you know, viewership or entertainment has been, you know, you've been incorporated with that. So it's great. That's yeah. Uh, so what was it like to work, to work, off, work on one-on-one with, with, with Flex, you know, kind of, kind of practice? Because that was my mind, the number one show I loved, you know. And I, what was it like being on that show? That was a great show. Yeah, one on one is an iconic show. It's a great show. I play Arnez, who's named yeah. after Desi Arnez, yeah. who's Ricky Ricardo on I Love Lucy. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just to play like in this slapstick TV show or sort of like no holds barred, a uh, young person who's fallen in love with a girl and having to deal with her father wanting to kill him all the time. That's what every young man in America is going through. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, this is a great, great, great show. Single parent father, too. So that was an example of, you know, just being a uh, you know, strong, you know, concrete single parent saying like, hey, I just want the best for my kid. And to be able to see that from both sides now, because now I'm playing fathers on shows like Harlem. Um, mm-hmm. But I've also been, you know, the the person that the parent wants to protect their offspring from. So it's great. That's, yeah, because I actually interviewed um, uh, um, Doreen, the, 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 the character of Doreen, um, Kelly Perrine. He was wonderful. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah Kelly's great. We love Kelly for He's a comedic genius he went to i think uc irvine he's very 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 calculated and systematic with how he delivers jokes and they're always so funny i learned a lot from kelly from everybody that i worked with yeah, that's wonderful to hear so how did you get, so how did you how were you able to to, to, to get that part on one-on-one was it was it was the initial process easy that uh there was initial process for what for me on tiktok yeah you just go to the robert richard on tiktok and i'm there i got all my videos up Okay, but what I'm saying, what, what was like like to like to get the part one on one? What was the audition process like to get the part? Oh yeah, uh, I mean, I sort of you know when one on one was being created, the Arnez character, the lead writer, Yonetta Boone, sort of already had me in mind. I worked on my wife and kids, and I just came off a of feast of all saints, and I had my hair blonde. She's like, "Don't change it." 
and yeah. sort of like grew in salt and pepper. They put me in a fishnet shirt and put, you know, nipple tassels on or, you know, nipple earrings and stuff and put a guitar in my, in my hand and said, you know, create Arnez. So it's you know, sort of like this young guy who's in love with this girl, but also wants to be a great friend and her girlfriend. And, mm -hmm. you know, he's really trying to push his art out and record and really trying to make it in the world as an artist. Like every kid in the world can relate to that, whether it be Gen Z, millennials, Gen X. I mean, all of even the boomers, they, they get that. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, have, have you thought about, about starting a podcast yourself? Uh, have I talked to, have I ever talked about what? Exactly. Uh, do you think do you, do you think do you think you might ever start start a podcast yourself? Start your own podcast? Uh, do I want to start my podcast? I mean, I have a lot to talk about. So I love to get a lot of interesting people on there and talk. I think that people love to hear people, you know, sort of converse. And uh, you know, Joe Rogan's gotten into a lot of dominance in the podcast world. People really like what he has to say and who he invites on the show. So I think if I can get a, you know a great casting department to help me get like some really really heavy hitters on the show and get deep. Um, and maybe, you know, you know, have a drink or do something that, you know, is really going to open up everyone's third eye. Um, that's, that's definitely something that I'm really into as far as like just talking and conversing and turning it into a business. I definitely got to I got to send a bit of myself, you know? Yeah. Wow. So, okay. And have, have you, have you, have you ever been to Boston before? Boston, Massachusetts? Boston, Massachusetts is a great, great, great town. Love Boston. I want to come back. I want to go there. It's like, one of the biggest melting pots for education. I love going to universities there. I love to come back to Boston. So if you have anybody who's in mind who wants to invite me there to speak to young people or whomever, uh, yeah, put me in touch. I love Boston. Yeah. Okay. Because I would love to have you come, 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 maybe come and meet you. So you could definitely come. Yes. We love come, come being in, come to my store, being in, you know, have you exactly interviewed in, talk, you know, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be on happy in my city, you know. Boston, because because you know because I because it's, it's funny here, but I also want to try, but I also want to try to California and Florida because I don't like because like I said I don't like the winter time, you know, <laughs> you know, winter time, you know. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Yeah, well, okay, well, the, like I said this is well, this is such an honor to meet you. I learn learn, well, learn so much about you. Um, are, are, there, are there any questions? Are there any questions that you want to ask me? Ask me or know about me? No, I just want to make sure I tell everybody about elite performance medicine. I mean, everyone knows that I'm 40 years old and I look like you know everyone's wow. younger brother. Um, but it's not um, the secret that I use is this formula. It's better science, better medicine. It's from Newport Beach, California. It's called Elite Performance Medicine. You go to the website, www.epmproducts.com. They have stuff for muscle and joint pain, stuff for mothers and babies. If you're ex-military for PTSD, if you're a pro athlete looking for something that can help heal you, your muscles, your sprains, your bone fractures without having any compromise, this stuff is all earth, is pure beyond um, comparison and they're made with all active ingredients if you have any kind of surface imbalance whether it be alopecia hyperpigmentation moles like i have fine lines wrinkles sunspots age spots psoriasis this stuff is great elite performance medicine go to epmproducts.com love this stuff i will definitely check that out because i could use a fine form i said for five a lot absolutely because i'm 40 because I'm, I'm actually for 40 42 so i don't i don't think you're actually 40 in a while <laughs> you don't look yeah for sure okay wow Okay, well, this is well. So, how can how can find you on social media? If you want to get in touch yeah, you. listen. If you see me on the street, I'm a really nice guy. Come up to me, say hello. I'm out here hugging grandparents, kissing babies, um, you know, getting on Facetime with everybody and singing kids lullabies. So, um, come up to me, and give me a hug. But on social media, I'm at the Robert Richard and everything, uh, whether it be Facebook and TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Twitter at the Robert Richard, and find me on Real Talk Live. Download Real Talk Live from your app store. You can do conversations with me. We can talk about science, health, sports, acting, dating, whatever you need in advice. Real Talk Live is incredible. Oh, yeah, actually, so, so I'll definitely check it out, you know, and talk to you some more. Because I'm not, because I'd, I'd love to have you have, 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 have some, 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 some just like add to myself because that'd be great, you know. I appreciate, I appreciate that, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And um, so, and um, let's see. Um, I'll do. Do you think you can sign? You can sign this form. And I can, I can, I can, I can, I can if you play. I have cat. I have cat make a copy of that so I can print it out and sign it for you. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. So on a mutual. Hopefully, I'll talk to you on on that on the website. You know, and so on, and one or someone on a mutual and watch the story. You know, so come on, I appreciate it. And, and please, tell, if you please tell your friends about me and try and come on show because I'm looking for any information I can get you. So I love that. I had a great time hanging out with you, Jai, and it's just great. <laughs> Um, shout out to Boston, everybody in Mass. And uh, I love you guys and God bless. I'm Robert Richard. Watch out my movies and check out my shows.
Uh, and God bless you. I love you so much. I love you. My number one fan. I love you. Stay, stay in touch. Okay. God bless you. It's an honor to meet you. Okay. Awesome. Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks again.